you gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. It's time to get it moving, y'all. Step up your game. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. Celebrate this life you've been holding. Demonstrate your love and devotion. And everybody get up and get up. Motivate. Get up and keep moving. Celebrate this life is no illusion. Demonstrate the skills you've been using. And everybody get up and get up. Hey, welcome back to yet another review by Zombie. In today's review, we're going to be taking a look at, well, six flavors, six flavors from a company called Tattered Flag. Now, you can find them at tatteredflagjuice.com. They're a relatively new company, and there's really only a few ways that you can get them. This is definitely one way that you can get them. So, you know how we rule, peeps. We're going to jump to the website, get some pricing information, then we're going to kick back here amongst all the uh, land lovers and have ourselves a vape while we sit here and talk about army mateys. Because it's time to sail the seven seas with tattered flag. So let's have a quick toot and we'll get this ship on the road. Or I should say, we'll set sail. <laughs> And welcome to the brief online tutorial for Tattered Flag Premium E-Juice. Arr! Let's be looking at that website now. When you put Tattered Flag E-Juice.com or I'm sorry, Tattered Flag Juice.com into your address bar, you'll be redirected to premiumjuiceonline.com. So this is the home of Tattered Flag, as you can see. And this is the main website. They actually carry several different brands here. What one we're interested in is the Tattered Flag line. Now, as you can see, Tattered Flag goes for $20 a 30 mil bottle. Or you can get the whole dang line, which is all six flavors, and uh, that'll cost you just about a hundred bucks. Actually, ninety-nine dollars. And you can get Nick's drinks in zero, three, six, twelve, and eighteen. And that will do it for the brief online tutorial for Tattered Flag. Me mateys. Now, back to the review. Before we start, I must point out, I did receive these free of charge for the purpose of conducting the review, but my opinion of the product will remain true, honest, and accurate as always. Okay, so right off the bat, I need to let you know that these were pretty much the beta labels that, that got sent to me. Um... They've since then completed new labels, and for every juice that I show, I'm going to put a, uh, a flash, a picture up on the screen on what the label corresponding to that juice looks like. So, we're going to start off with uh, Galleon. And I have Galleon loaded up in my Big Dripper, which I have dual parallel microcoil to about 0.3 ohms, and I have that on my Taylor box mod. That's T A Y L O R. And it's a dual 26650. Let's have a bait. Mm. Okay, this is really close to what a a stronger end of a RY4 is like. Um, caramel and tobacco, but this has got more tobacco than caramel. I mean, I can definitely taste the caramel in there, but they were going for more of a, more of a tobacco in this one, so. 
in my opinion, this is what an original RY4 is supposed to be like. So this is typically an RY4. Um, flavor profile on this, I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give this an eight out of ten. Is it an all-day vape worthy? I'd say to a lot of people, it probably will be, but personally to me, all-day vape worthy, no. Um, throw hit. Throw hit. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten because that tobacco just boosts that throat hit way up there. So, uh, vapor production. 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. Now the next one we're going to go to is Frigate. Now I have Frigate loaded up in a Kanger sub tank. And that's uh, it's at 0 .50 ohms. 0 .50. Yeah. <laughs> .50. 0 .5. Um, and I have that on my Hannah Dana Canna Zana clone, no logos, and we're going to be firing that at 30 watts. Mmm, that is really tasty. Really enjoy this. It's a damn good vape. This is more or less, let me hit it one more time, folks. Oh, yeah. Really, really good. This is a whiskey uh, mixed with vanilla. And it's a creamy vanilla. And it has just, just a touch of lime. Now, I could see where people would get this confused with it being like a rum. Arr! Let's grab another bottle of rum. No, let's not grab another bottle of rum because this isn't rum. This is a whiskey vape. And as such, it's actually a tad bit sweeter in my opinion, than what rum would actually vape like. Um, so for the flavor profile on this, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. This is all day vape worthy. Um, it's just a tad bit harsher than what a normal, typical whiskey vape would vape like. Um, and I think it's because of that kick in there. That back note. That lime flavoring that's in there just like boosts it up so for the throat hit i'm gonna have to go with a seven out of ten now the big production of course it's nine out of ten for consistency and plenty next one i have actually misplaced my bottle <laughs> but it is caravilla Caravilla I have loaded up in my Zenith, uh, which is dual microcoiled to about 0.7 ohms, and I have that on my special edition KL Caravella. Yeah, Caravelle on my Caravella. It just made sense, you know? And I wish I know what the hell I did with that bottle, because this is a good juice. Hmm, I don't know. But anyways, Arr, on with the vaping. Mm. This is just a really good strawberries and cream. There's something else in here, too, and I, I want to say that it's a tad bit of uh, vanilla. Yeah, I think it is. So, flavor profile on this, I'm going to give this 8 out of 10. 
This is definitely all day vape, vape worthy. It's not it's not too sweet and it's not too harsh. So therefore I'm going to give the throw hit on this. I'm going to give it a mile. I'm going to give it my 6 out of 10. And then vape production gets a 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. Man of war. I really, really like the label on this one. Now I had that loaded up in my Aqua 2, which is not we on there. There we go. And I have my Aqua 2 dual microcoil to about 0.4 ohms, and it's still got a damn shake to it. Twenty by one threading, you know, just ain't like it used to be. Okay. Uh, and I've got that on my kelp mod, so let's have a vape. Hmm. Man of war. Boy. Now, the interesting thing about Man of War is, is that it's got it's got strawberry in it. It's got some really good spices in it too. And yes, I do know what the uh the actual profile says about this one um but what it doesn't tell you is <laughs> and that's where i come into play this has um it's, it's got some sort of mint in it and i think that this is like the same style of mint that most malaysian juice makers use um because it's got that uh, it's almost got that anise um, touch to it. And what I mean by that is, is that it's not directly anise, but there's a mint that can disguise itself as anise if you use it correctly. And that's what I'm picking up off of this. So, flavor profile on this. 9 out of 10. All day long, all night long. This is a very enjoyable vape, and that's how come I tanked it in the Aqua 2. The Aqua 2 is a pretty good rebuildable dripping tank atomizer. Throat hit on this one, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, because a little bit of cooling factor that goes into it, um, it knocks it down a touch, and that's nice. That's really nice because that's exactly what a menthol enthusiast such as myself looks for in a fruity type menthol vape. Vapor production, nine out of ten for consistency and plenty of it. Now we come to Brigantine. And I have Brigantine loaded up in my Overdose RDA, which uh, is dual microcoil to 0.5 ohms. Not too difficult of a build there. And I have that on my uh, D's version 3 18500 mod. Now here, here they've done it again, okay, 
Um, this is definitely a fruity type menthol. Now, it has uh, a mixture of berries in it, and it has a touch of menthol this time. Not mint, but this is definitely a menthol of some kind. Um, oh, you know what? Now, now that I take I take it back, because now I can actually taste that little bit of kick that peppermint gives. So yes, it is a mint. It's peppermint. Um, the berries. Very smooth. Very creamy. So, I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Definitely the second best liquid out of the Tattered Flag line, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go with, uh, for the throat hit, I'm going to have to go with a 4 out of 10. Here again, that cooling sensation knocks that throat hit down, which is good because, you know, that's the kind of vape that I enjoy, is the lesser the throat hit, the better, because then you can enjoy the flavor a lot more, and that's exactly what I get out of this. Vapor production, 9 out of 10 for consistency and plenty of it. And that is Schooner. Schooner, the little short vessel out of a whole bunch. You know, they always say that dynamite comes in small packages. Well, this is that small package, my peeps. And <clears throat> I think I might have to put a little bit more juice on my Stellaire here. But that's what I have it loaded up in. And yes, I do need to put some more in there. I have it in my Stellaire 26650, which is the 28.5 mil version of the Stellaire and I have the Stellaire on top of my latest mod which I just got in yesterday which I'll be doing a review for here in a few minutes uh, it's the Tesla the Tesla 120 watt mod there you go just for looks and this does go to 120 watts uh, we're going to be vaping this at 70 watts, which I should get a voltage of about 4.7 volts because I have this dual parallel coil to about three, about 0.3 ohms. Actually, it's about 0.27 ohms, but it registers it as 0.3. Oh man. Mm. Now, if anyone out there knows what could possibly substitute a custard, butterscotch. And that's what this is. Through and true. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best butterscotch vape I have ever come across. Now, I vaped a ton of different butterscotches, okay? And this is a lot like a butterscotch milkshake because it's real creamy, it's real smooth, it's um, it's total bliss. Let's have another vape. Now, flavor profile on this one, I got to give a 10 out of 10. Throw hit. Hmm. Because it's so smooth, and because I don't get any kind of harshness whatsoever, I got to give this one 4 out of 10. There's no cooling factor there, but it's definitely not like my mild. Okay, and my mild is always going to be a 6 out of 10, but anytime I come across a vape that either is cooled down because of mint or menthol, it goes below that. 
But this one here is so smooth that I have to drop it below a mild. And it's smoother than most, most mints that will carry it down to a 5 out of 10. So for the throw hit on this one is a 4 out of 10. That's just how smooth it is. Um, vapor production. I gotta give this one a 10 out of 10. It just vapes better than the rest of them do. So there you have it, my peeps. That's a 6 from the Tattered Flag line, which you can find at tatteredflagjuice.com. They don't have a Facebook as of yet that I'm aware of. However, if Tattered Flag should happen to have a Facebook, by the time I get this review posted, I will put the Facebook here. But if they don't, then I'm going to put the Facebook for the company that is selling this online. One of them, anyways. So, thank you to those, and you know who you are, that sent these off to me. I really appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm looking forward to more of the schooner, the man of war, and more of the brigantine. Those are my favorites out of this bunch. I highly recommend everybody get up on that schooner, because Otter Mimitis is the best babe out there. <laughs> I probably sound like a bumbling idiot right now. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And as always, my peeps and pee bits. Happy vaping.